welcome to ABC Interactive English. Hello, everybody. I'm Shane. Hi, I'm Hanny. And today we have a close test. Right, and the article is about mental health. Okay, about your mental health. 跟心理健康有关。Hmm. Okay. So let me ask you, how are you? <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What, what? I just asked how you are. How are you? 我每次都不知道怎么回答，因为 I've been through a lot recently.、Oh. 所以当别人问我你好吗，我真的要回答好哦。<laughs> I don't.、Uh, it depends if. Look, if I say it like this, how are you? Oh, you see, my face is. I really want to know how are you. Oh, so if I say, how are you? 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 Oh, so if I say, how Ni hao ma. Ni hao ma. Yeah, it's different, right? <laughs> right, right. I can tell. Now I can tell. Now you understand the difference. So how are you? How are you? Oh, how am I? <laughs> But you're laughing. I can't take you seriously. Hola. How are you, Shane? Um, actually, I'm doing very well.、Mm. Thank you very much for asking. 嗯，好了，不管其实大家在问 How are you 的时候，不管他到底是不是真的想要关心你，可是当你心里有不舒服、有难过的事情时，最好还是找熟人，找认识的人多聊一聊，因为我们的 mental health is as important as your physical, physical health. That's de definitely true. Right. 好，那我们就准备来看看课文喽。Okay. Students are under lots of pressure to do well. Sometimes it can get to be too much, and they need a break. Now, at certain universities in Taiwan, they can take one. The system allows students to take mental health leave from their day's classes. They can take up to three days per semester. What's more, they don't need a doctor's note to show that they're ill. The mental health of their students is important to universities. With this system, they are really showing that. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back. So, for our closed test unit, we are going to read an article, and the title is "Universities Offer Mental Health Leave for Students." 好，这篇文章是关于大学校方启动心理健康假。我们先来看看标题里面，它用到 mental health， 就是心理健康、精神健康。这个 mental 就是跟精神的有关，就是精神的或是心理的。好，那相对的说法 ，mental health 相对的就是。Physical health, right? So this physical is physical, so physical health is physical health. Okay, let me add that leave here is not leave. Leave, bye bye. Leave here is a noun, meaning leave. Teacher, do we have any leave that we have heard about? Ah, so we have sick leave. Ah, 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 哦，你可能因为私人的事情要请假 ，personal leave， 那就是事假。And pretty common is maternity leave. 哦、oh, ，这个字比较难一点。那 maternity leave 就是产假的意思。Right, because right. maternity, this word, we have mater, maternity, just means mother. 前面的字根其实就是跟母亲有关，是源自于拉丁文。Yeah. 其实你如果把这个 m 改成 p， 变成 paternity，paternity paternity leave 也可以指父亲的陪产假， mm -hmm. 对不对、right. ？OK， exactly. 好，那我们要表达请假的时候，也可以常搭配动词 take， 或者是你可以用 somebody is on 什么什么 leave。So for example， Kate is on personal leave。那我们就可以表达说 Kate 她请事假。就这么简单。好，那我们准备来看看这篇文章喽。Okay, 
Students are under lots of pressure to do well. Okay, 我们先讲一下 under pressure 表示处于压力之下。那这时候这个 pressure 压力它是不可数名词。你可以说 under a lot of pressure, under lots of pressure 来表达压力很大，就不加 s 喽。Okay, continuing. Blank. It can get to be too much, and they need a break. 这个题目意思是空格，那样的压力可能太大，他们得休息一下。那这个空格在句首，我们看到它后面还用逗号跟主要子句隔开，可以判断是要考我们副词。就来看看选项 ，Our options are A. However. 然而。B. Sometimes. 有时候。C. Usually. 通常。D. Perhaps. 或许，好，那从语义上来看，应该是要表达有时候那样的压力可能太大，他们得休息一下。那我们看到其他三个选项，它表达然而啊，通常或许都不符合文意，最适合的就是答案 B。Sometimes， 有时候。Mm. So the correct sentence would be Sometimes it can get to be too much, and they need a break. Okay, 有时候真的压力太大，大到需要休息一下。Right. Okay. Now, at certain universities in Taiwan, they can take blank. 好，题目意思是现在在台湾的某几间大学，学生可以这么做了。那这题是在考我们代名词。我们来看选项哦。Our options are A. Them. 表示他们，可以是人的他们啊，动物的他们，事物的他们。B. One. 这个代名词表示一个。C some 一些 ，D those 那些。好，课文前一句说 ，They need a break， 他们需要休息一下。那这个题目的空格，我们就要用代名词来代替前面提到这个 a break 是单数名词，所以就用 one 取代，所以答案就是 B one 一个。那你就可以把它想成，本来是要说 they can take a break， 那为了避免重复 a break， 改成 they can take one。So the correct sentence would be now at certain universities in Taiwan they can take one. Okay, so what does this word mean? Certain. Ah, certain means particular, but not named, or you don't describe it. 哦、oh, ，所以就是你要提出一个东西，可是又不明讲，可能就是某个、某些的特定的那种意思。Yeah. So it's you want to pick a thing or a person or a group, but you don't give any more information or details about it or about、oh. them. Right, maybe I love to listen to a certain type of music.、Mm. 那表示我喜欢听特定类型的音乐。那这时候我就没有要讲是哪一种类型， right. 不想让你知道。Oh. <laughs> okay. The system allows students to take mental health leave from their days classes. 好，那这边有一个单字是 system。老师，什么是 system？ A system is just a way of doing things,、mm. <clears throat> or like a way of managing, controlling, organizing, or doing something that you're going to follow rules or you're going to follow a plan. 哦、oh, ，所以这个 system 它就有体制、制度的意思。在这个制度下面，你当然就有固定某一套做法，你要去遵循嘛。Mm-hmm. 所以老师刚刚说就是 to follow rules or to follow a plan,、mm-hmm. right? 好，那我们现在准备要先休息一下，待会再看看。哎，如果你在这些大学，你想要休这种心理健康假，有没有需要一些很严格的规定才能休假？嗯、mm-hmm. ，OK， let's let's wait and see. Which one is correct? I'll need to take sick leave today. I'll need to get sick leave today. The correct answer is, I'll need to take sick leave today.
Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back. So before the break, we learned that at some universities in Taiwan, students can take mental health leave.、Mm, right. So they can take a break from their classes and from all of their stress. Right. 好，但是应该蛮严格的吧？你可能要去看医生啊，或是什么 ，right? Probably. Hmm. So why don't we continue reading? Okay. They can take blank three days per semester. 好，这个句子题目意思是他们每学期空格可以请三天。句子里面的这个 P E R per 它是介系词，表示每每一，所以 per semester 就是每学期。那我们来看选项喽。Our options are A across from 在对面 ，B down from 从什么下来 ，C up to 至多高达 ，D。Out of 从什么出来？好，这个语义上来看，它应该是要表达他们每学期至多可以请三天，学生每学期可以请多达三天的心理健康假，所以应该是用 up to。And the correct sentence would be: They can take up to three days per semester. Okay, three days per semester. But what is a semester? What is a semester? <laughs> okay, so it's one. Of the two periods that the school or college year is divided into,、oh. so the first semester and the second semester in one school year. Yeah, so usually that will be like the spring semester and the fall semester. 哦、oh, ，所以可能在国外他们会用 the spring semester, the fall semester。那在台湾我们常会讲第一学期、第二学期、上学期、下学期这样，可能讲法稍微不一样，但大概就会分两个学期。Right. Okay. So continuing. What's more, they don't need a doctor's blank to show that they're ill. 好，题目意思是，而且不需要医生的。空格来证明自己生病了。这题考我们词汇，来看选项。Our options are a note， 字条或是短笺。B degree， 学位。Doctor's degree， <笑>你要学那个医生的学位来证明，好像怪怪的。<笑> C paper， 论文。<笑> D message， 讯息。好，从语义上来看，它应该是要表达不需要医生写的证明。我们一般会用 doctor's note 来指说，你向学校或是雇主请假时用的这个医师证明，他写的这种短短字条这样子。好，那这边最适合答案就是 A note， and the correct sentence would be What's more, they don't need a doctor's note to show that they're ill. Right. Wow. Wow. So, you can just say, "Oh, I need a vacation. I need a mental health day." Yeah, right. It's pretty cool. Yeah, but here there is a phrase that means ill.、Mm. So, what does it mean? So, ill just means not well or not healthy.、Mm. Basically, sick. Sick. Yeah. So ill 就是生病的。你可以在后面加上 n e s s， 变成 sickness。Sickness. Sorry. Ah, 两个都可以。老师讲没错。Ill, illness, sick, sickness. Right. 都可以加 n e s s 变成名词。好，那接下来有一个空格，我们要填一整个句子了。Wow. Blank. Okay. So our options are A. The universities have no concern for students under pressure. 这个选项是说，大学校方漠不关心、承受压力的学生。Have no concern 表示漠不关心。B. Mental health is far from the top of the list for universities. 意思是说，心理健康远称不上是大学校方的第一要事。那补充一下 ，the top of the list。假设你有一个要代办事项清单，摆在最上面就是最重要要先处理的事嘛。所以这个用语就是表达最重要的事。Okay. C. Taking leave is difficult to do at universities in Taiwan. 
，请假在台湾的大学是很困难的。<laughs> D. The mental health of their students is important to universities. 这个句子是说，学生的心理健康对大学校方至关重要。其实我们看到这边已经到文章最后了，已经准备要帮文章做总结了。从前后文来看，最符合的意思选项就是 D. The mental health of their students is important. To universities, 用来表达学生的心理健康对大学校方至关重要，非常重要。其他选项其实都不符合前后文。<笑> no, they no. don't make sense. So the correct sentence would be: The mental health of their students is important to universities. Right, and with this system, they are really showing that. They are really showing that they care about their students. Yeah, they care about the pressure and the stress that students have, and it could be serious. They need a break sometimes. It's not just about the physical health, whether you have a cold or you have a stomach flu or something like that. Right. 但也有可能有时候就是是心理健康，就是我们觉得。压力太大，觉得不舒服，这是外表可能看不出来的。可是其实你可能真的很需要休息。Right, sometimes your mind needs a break. Yeah,、right? true. Okay, so that's it for today. Thanks for joining us. Please take care of yourself. <laughs> take care of your mental and physical health. Right. Okay. We'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. Students are under lots of pressure to do well. Sometimes it can get to be too much, and they need a break. Now, at certain universities in Taiwan, they can take one. The system allows students to take mental health leave from their day's classes. They can take up to three days per semester. What's more, they don't need a doctor's note to show that they're ill. The mental health of their students is important to universities. With this system, they are really showing that. Hello, I'm Hanny. We're back again. Let's look at the word for this time. The first word is certain. Certain. It's a descriptive word, describing certain things. For example, there are certain topics I don't like to talk about. There are certain topics I don't like to talk about. There are certain topics I don't like to talk about. There are certain topics I don't like to talk about. There are certain topics I don't like to talk about. There are certain topics I don't like to talk about. There are certain topics I don't like to talk about. There are certain topics I don't like to talk about. There are certain topics I don't like to talk about. What do you think of the education system in Taiwan? 你觉得台湾的教育制度如何？第三个单词是 semester， 它是名词，表示学期。例如 ，Jenny's grades improved last semester. Jenny 上学期的成绩有进步。那第四个单词是 ill。Ill 它是形容词，形容生病的。那它的名词是在后面加上 ness。Illness 就表示生病啊，身体不适。举例来说 ，Dave was ill and couldn't go to work yesterday. Dave 昨天生病了，无法上班。好，那以上就是今天的单字，大家要多多复习哦。我们下次见，拜拜。Did you hear about Mike and Olivia? They broke up and then they got back together just after a few days. Oh, hey Shane, what's the matter? You seem really stressed. Just look at everybody's at the party, having fun, and like we're just here. Oh, it seems like someone's having a case of FOMO. Totally. I'm just feeling anxious that like I'm missing out on like opportunities and fun. Don't you feel the same? You look so calm. Well, I'm just having fun with my Jomo. Jomo? Sounds cool. All right, well, count me in on your Jomo trip. Today we're going to introduce a new phrase called Jomo. So, Karen. Tell us what is JOMO. JOMO stands for Joy of Missing Out. It's essentially the opposite of FOMO, fear of missing out. 
Instead of feeling anxious or worried that you're missing out on something, you feel content and happy to be taking some time for yourself. But what should I do if I want to get from FOMO to JOMO? It's all about changing your mindset. Think about what you're gaining, not what you're missing out on. Like right now, instead of being at that party, you're here having a nice chat with me. Oh, I guess you're right. This is pretty nice. I guess I do feel a bit of JOMO. Thanks. No problem. Remember, it's okay to take some time for yourself. You don't have to do everything and be everywhere to be happy. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Why don't we just enjoy our chat and this wonderful day? All right, and that's all for today. <laughs> See you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye.